This is the 2005 Angler 26 Panga. As you can see, the boat is in very nice condition with twin 90 horsepower Mercury motors, a nice hard top, and here's a shot of the aft of the Panga, and here's a shot of the port of the Panga. These uh, Mercury's, these are the saltwater series, and they're 90 horsepower, got twin 90s. Now the boat has 500 and some 30 hours uh, total on well, it. One of the engines was not running right. Mercury opted to replace the power heads, not just on that one, but both of them. So you're starting out with absolute zero hours on engines that are still under warranty. I just wanted you to hear these engines. I mean, these are not four stroke, these are two stroke. Listen how quiet they are. I mean, I didn't even know they were running. Mike started them, I didn't even know until I looked back here. Beautiful. The uh, aft end of the, of the vessel, uh, we have this little portable bait well that's just bolted down to the uh, to the stern here and this is nice it's designed so that you just take this bilge pump drop it in the water you got your flow now and uh, you don't have to worry about it ever getting in the boat so uh, very unusual on a boat with outboards is this really nice seat in the back here I mean I don't know about you but many times I've come back from fishing and that ride back is pretty uncomfortable it won't be in this boat because you got a nice little cushion spot to sit in. And you'll see here in the, the aft end of the, of the vessel, we have uh, four floor scuppers. That's to assure that you keep a really dry boat, especially when you're under. They've loaded uh, a lot of nice little options here. Uh, on, your, on your seat stanchion, we have here is your tackle box area. All you need are your slide-in trays. You have on the side here, you have a huge area for storage. It goes way back under here. Down below you have chart storage, which are tubes that go back into the seating. Same thing on this side. So you have you actually duplicated your storage on both sides of the seat stanchions. Uh, aluminum hardtop, very good condition. Uh, doesn't have any, any corrosion on it to speak of. You have in the aft side here is your, your floodlights for illuminating the, the aft part of the vessel. You have your rocket launchers. There's four on the, on the hardtop. We have four on the back of the seat. Underneath the hardtop is obviously you have your outrigger controls, but you have a really nice nightlight right here that illuminates everything under the hardtop. Okay, on the forward end of the hardtop, we have another floodlight, which illuminates the forward part of the vessel. And you have your antenna, your running lights, everything on a fiberglass covered hardtop. This is not a fabric covered hardtop. As you can see, we have not installed the outriggers. However, they come with the boat. Uh, we just didn't do it because of storage. Uh -huh. Okay, so you're out fishing, get real hot. Look at this. Shower head right here. Fresh water on board, got a storage tank under the helm. Well, you're, be, you're looking for that cold drink when you're out fishing. Here's the ice box right here, complete with drain. You talk about a fish box, now I'm talking fish box here. This thing is probably 60 inches long. Look at this. And I'm talking about hold some fish and ice in that bad boy. You have storage compartments on both sides of the vessel. Forward is your anchor locker. Hey, welcome aboard for the sea trial on this 2005 Panga. This is a 26-foot boat. Got twin 90-horsepower Mercury. Let me talk about the, the helm here. Uh, it's very well laid out, very simple, easy to keep up with. Port, starboard, tax, and health of the, uh, the engines. In the center, we have uh, the speedometer. Over here we have our voltage and temperature and fuel and things that always are concerned. The chart plotter is the uh, Lowrance, it's the X26. Uh, I tell you, this is a nice chart plotter. It's an integrated uh, depth sounder, has a 600 watt transducer, it's mounted on the transom, so easy to, to maintain. But you can see it's got a great picture and uh, it'll keep you out of trouble. Over here we have our standard VHF radio. It is, uh, you're able to interface this with the chart plotter if you want. And it has the distress cable. With the Clarion, uh, under the seat here has been installed a connection for your iPod so that you can play all your favorite tunes while you're heading for them fishing spots. All your controls for lights and bilge pumps, spreader lights, things like that are right here. And then under the steering wheel is additional switches for all the 
functionality on the vessel. Right. Let's uh, let's bring this panga up on the plane and see what she'll do. on the engine and we're trucking along around 24 miles an hour so let's uh, jump it up and see what it'll do all right stop in about 5200 rpm we're doing uh, 32 miles an hour I want you to notice that uh, we really have a nose high attitude and I really like that on a boat like this you know it's got a, a very big length to width ratio so any kind of digging in is going to really affect your ability to control it not with this bad boy with that nose up like that you can get on it and it just stays that way same spot this is a dream to drive There you have it. Nice little sea trial. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And I'll tell you what, if you're looking for a really good performer that uses just a teensy bit of gasoline, this is the one for you.